Okay, this is going to be another snake room tutorial slash backtrack 5 revision 3 video quality test. Uh, most of my, well all my other videos I did, I did all on a Windows platform. So this is my first one doing a Linux platform and I've been playing around with Linux for, on and off for the last couple years. So I uh, figured I might as well try to start using them a little bit more now that backtrack 5 is out, revision 3. I got the my screen capture recording software hooked up. I got my USB mic configured. Everything seems to be working good on the test runs. So uh, instead of just uploading basically a pointless video to YouTube to see how it actually plays back, I figured I would do a little tutorial on how to control your CPU frequency considering that was one of my pet peeves and it took me a while to be able to figure out how to make your uh, CPU frequency right here stay the whole way up. If not, it wants to go down to uh, 800, in my case, 800 megahertz instead of 3000. So it's not bad. It's just an energy saving feature that all the operating systems now have, you know, especially you almost need it if you're running a laptop or whatever. But it, it does slow things down a bit, and especially in the uh, winter months, it doesn't mind matter if you have, you know, little bit extra heat there you're burning up a little elect extra electricity on a desktop but at any rate what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to write a simple script I'm gonna show you how to create a custom menu and then I'm gonna show you how to run the script out of the menu okay basically I already have it set up so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works okay under applications I have this folder tweaks here put that in CPU on demand. If I click that, you'll notice over here my CPU temperature dropped to 800. Okay. Now, if I go back over my tweaks and hit max out CPU, you'll notice over here that it raised back up. Now, believe me, you think that would be a lot easier. You just put a little script in the startup, and it would work easy, pre easy. It's not like that at all. Um, for some reason, it seems to get overridden or whatever, so I figure this was the easiest fix. Plus, you have more control. You can just click on it, change it back and forth. If you go into you know, putting your computer to sleep or you're just downloading stuff or you're not doing any heavy, heavy computing, then you, know, you can turn it down or turn it back up or whatever. So one of the things, too, is I have a, a six-core CPU, as you can see here. So you actually have to set each one individually. So first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up a terminal and you're going to have to type in apt get no, not that apt get cpu freak dash set. Now you're going to want to throw the install in there also. Okay, and I already did it, so I'm not going to bother doing it. But after you do that, you'll be good to go. Okay. And now what you'll be able to do, you can actually go here, add to panel. Okay. CPU frequency scaling monitor. Yep. Okay. And then you can go and see it's on performance now. You can change it to on demand. But look, I changed that to on demand. Preferences. Let's go to CPU one. Yep. So you have to do it for every single one. Well, that's a pain in the ass if you ask me. That's the reason why we're not going to go that route. So, at any rate, let's remove that from the panel because we don't need it. Let's go ahead and open up our bin folder in our root directory. Okay. And you're gonna go ahead. You can do this a bunch of ways. You can do it from uh, you know your terminal or whatever. I'm just showing you the easy graphical way of doing it. Uh, Create document, empty file, name it whatever you want, CPU up. Okay, oh, there you go. Click on it. Now, in order to uh, get it to be recognized as a script, you got to put the pound sign, explanation point, backslash bin, backslash sh. And that will give it the header to tell it that it, nope, I actually did that wrong. It's not one, it's X 
exclamation point. So I want to put that as the header. And that'll tell it that it's a script. But at any rate, I already have it set up, so I'm going to just go ahead and show the other one. But you'll go ahead and save this once you have it set up. See, it turns blue. It knows it's a uh, script file. And I called mine CPU Max to turn it up. I'm going to display it. Okay. And this is basically the code that you want. CPU freak dash set space dash small c and that stands for CPU and always start zero is the first one so if you have six in my case it's zero through five dash g small g space performance okay and that's going to be your switch to set it for performance okay so once you do that you obviously save it shut it down then you're going to want to go to it and we're going to go to my one that I just made CPU up we're going to go to the properties this is very important then you go to permissions allow executing files program okay then you're going to want to create another one the exact same one for your CPU down which is the on demand uh, option since I already have one, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you. The code is the exact same, except at the end, you put on demand instead of performance. Okay? Go ahead, save that. When you're done, same thing. You're going to have to go to the permissions, properties, permissions, allow executing file as program. Then what you're going to want to do is go up to your system. Go to preferences, uh, go to your main menu, and you're going to want to add new menu item. You can name it whatever you want. Here, I'll just test for this one. Okay, you see it show up, then you want to click on it, and then you want to click new item name it CPU up whatever and then for your command you're going to want to browse to that file you made file system bin CPU performance or whatever you named it and it'll show up add another item Browse CPOD. There you have it. Close it up. Go to your applications. Um, test whatever. CPU down. Oh, we're already down. CPU up. And there you have it. You're back up. CPU down you're back down well there you have it and I hope uh, this might have helped you and I hope the video turned out alright it's in sync unlike the last one and have a nice day